In example three, we have a survey that was conducted two years in a row, collecting information on the number of middle school students in Illinois who reported using tobacco products before age 11. So we'll let the proportion of middle school students using tobacco products in 2005 be represented by P1. And the proportion in 2006 be represented by P2. The claim in this case, we're asked, do these results suggest that the proportion of middle school students in Illinois using tobacco before age 11 was that greater in 2006 than in 2005? So what we're saying is our claim is that P1 the proportion using tobacco products in 2005 is less than that of the proportion of students using tobacco products in 2006. <clears throat> Which gives us the following hypotheses. So as always, again, P1 minus P2 is equal to zero. And the alternative hypothesis that P1 minus P2 is less than zero. In our first sample, we have 113 successes and 1,334 failures. In our second sample, we have 107 successes and 1,139 failures. So the conditions are met to test a claim about proportions. So flipping back to StatCrunch, in our first sample, we had the 113 successes and a sample size of 1,447. In our second sample, we had 107 successes and a sample size of 1,246. Our alternative statement is that P1 is less than P2, so P1 minus P2 should be less than zero. Click Compute, and we get a p-value of 0 0.2311. So our p-value is 0 0.2311, which in this case is greater than our value for alpha, which equals 0 0.07. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that P1 minus P2 equals zero. So we're saying there is not sufficient evidence to discredit the original assumption that the proportion of middle schoolers using tobacco products in 2005 is any different than the proportion in 2006. So there's not enough claim to say that there's any difference. There's not enough claim, enough evidence to claim that the proportion increased from 2005 to 2006. So in this case, the original claim is not supported. In example four, we have a three-year study of students pursuing associate's degrees in both Illinois and Indiana. So we have the number of the original cohort and the number who graduated by summer of 2009. So can we conclude from this data that the proportion of students who complete associate's degrees within three years in Illinois is greater than the proportion of students in Indiana? So we'll let the proportion of students in Illinois who complete an associate's degree within three years be represented 
be represented by P1 and the proportion of students in Indiana be represented by P2. The claim in this case, can we conclude from this data that the proportion of students who complete associate's degrees within three years in Illinois is greater than that of Indiana? So the claim is that P1 is greater than P2, leading us to the following hypotheses. So we would have P1 minus P2 equal to 0, and P1 minus P2 greater than 0. In our first sample, <clears throat> we have 7,923 successes. and 23,586 failures. In our second sample, we have 2,258 successes and 6,828 failures. So the conditions are met to test claims about proportions. So we'll enter our number of successes and sample size. So 7,923 with a sample size of 31,509. Number of successes of 2,258 2, with 9,086 observations. And our alternative hypothesis that P1 is greater than P2 gives us a p-value of 0.2846. So our p-value is 0.2846, which is less than our value for alpha, which in this case was 0.1. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that p1 minus p2 equals 0. So again, there is not sufficient evidence to discredit the original assumption that the proportion of Illinois students who complete an associate's degree within three years is any different or is the same as so we can't discredit the original assumption that the proportion in Illinois is the same as the proportion in Indiana. So in this case, again, the claim is not supported. There's not sufficient evidence to let us reject that null hypothesis and say that the proportion of students in Illinois who complete their degree within three years is greater than the proportion of students in Indiana.